What the fuck is up? Yeah, the beast is still fucking alive and kicking. Yeah, it's been a fucking while. But hey, anyways, welcome to the fucking non-PC horror show. Now with all that shit out of the way, I picked up quite a bit of stuff. I mean, some of this stuff ain't gonna be recent. Some of this stuff I picked up in the last couple of years. I just haven't showed you because I haven't felt good. The Beast has a lot of explaining to do, but let's get right on into this fucker and I'll explain. Oh yeah, one thing before we start. The UV code giveaway has changed. I'm only gonna repeat this once, and it's never gonna be repeated again. The UV codes are gonna be scattered throughout the video like a fucking horror easter egg hunt. So you better start fucking searching for this shit throughout the videos. They're yours. The beast gives back. So hell yes. Horror hounds, I'm not gonna lie man, the last couple of years has been shit. My health hasn't been good. That's why you haven't seen me on here. I'm not dead yet. I Still got a few good more years in me. Oh, the beast has been through so much shit these last couple years. Once my dad died, hell, my life has gone to shit. But things are getting so much better now, that's why I'm fucking back. My health has got whack. Fuck, the beast is on dialysis. I do that shit every fucking night. Who gives a fuck, I'm doing so much better. Fuck it. So now you know a little bit of what's been happening. Man, fuck that shit. Let's get right on into the horror update. Since my birthday is Monday, I had to pick myself up something that I really like. I watch it every fucking year. That's happy birthday to me. I have to watch this every year no matter what, man. This is like watching Halloween during Halloween. Love this movie. Fucking great slasher. Can't say much more good about it than that. Fucking great film. The Beast is starting to get his ass into the 4K game. I don't have too many, but the one I do have to show is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Glad to have this motherfucker in the collection. Very beautiful. Artwork's killer. Comes in a fucking killer case. Really dig it. The only thing is when they fucking shipped it, it came brand new. But fuck. It's fucking loose as fuck inside. Just gotta buy a new case. Other than that, it looks fucking great. Love it. Glad to fucking have it. Vinegar Syndrome is doing a fucking badass job these days. Fucking dig this shit. Now I'm gonna show you my fucking box sets I picked up. Finally got the Friday the 13th series. Everybody else is picking this shit up long ago. I'm slow to the game, but I fucking got it now, man. Fucking love it. Dig this fucking set. Fucking can't wait for a Nightmare on Elm Street set, man. But other than that, fucking dig this shit. Thank fucking God to Scream Factory for this. Next, the Beast has the fucking Critters Collection. Love Critters. Definitely one of the Beast's favorite horror sci-fi series. Fucking dig the shit out of Critters, man. Fucking look like little turds rolling, man, but fucking love it. Great shit. Now that Christmas is only a few days away, the Beast has four Christmas Blu-rays he picked up recently. First one is Better Watch Out. Really dug this one. Kind of like Home Alone, but with a twisted motherfucker. But shit, Kevin McAllister is actually twisted. I don't know, but this one right here is really fucking good. Really dig this one. Like I said, there's a lot of similarities to Home Alone, but God, this is really good. This one I highly fucking recommend. I give this one four cadavers out of fucking five. Yeah, you better watch out for this sick little fuck. Don't open till Christmas. Another Vinegar Syndrome release, but couldn't really get into this one. The editing really sucked on this one. I mean, it felt like there were some scenes missing and shit. It was a cool idea, killing all the Santas and shit, but it just wasn't executed very well. Still glad to have it. And fuck yeah, one of the Beast's favorite slashers of all time, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Finally got it on Blu-ray. Fucking glad to have this one. Trying to get part two. Garbage day! But that thing's out of print, so it's hard to get. Like I said, I'm, I've been late to the game, man. But hey, finally got one of my favorite slashes of all time. Fucking love Silent Night, Deadly Night. One of the beast favorites. And now I have the Silent Night, Deadly Night collection. Three, four, and five. Yeah, these are some fucking turds. I kind of dig the fifth one. Third one sucks. Even though Bill Mosley's in it, it fucking sucks. It's a slow fucking paced film. Hell, I've done a review on it, so if you want to check it out, check it out. But the fourth one, I plan on doing a review soon. From what I remember, I fucking dig the fifth one. Toys that kill and shit. So if you're looking for this, you can get it at Walmart. Really good deal. And up next is my big ass stack of full moon movies. I got a lot of these fucking films from the 4th of July sale. So I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as I can. There's a ton of them. First up is Sorority Babes and the Slime Ball Bolorama. Yeah, that's kind of like a tongue twister for my ass, but hey, I love this fucking film. They just released a part two, and I'm waiting for that to come out on Blu-ray, but wait for my thoughts. I'm gonna give a review on that soon, part two, but but as for part one, I fucking love this film. Linnea Quigley's in it. Great fucking film. Doll Man. It's okay. Ain't the greatest shit, but I dig it. Glad to have it. Now I have Puppet Master 4. Five. 
Curse of Puppet Master, Retro Puppet Master, Puppet Master Legacy, Puppet Master Access Termination, Puppet Master Access Rising, and Blade the Iron Cross. Now I'm just waiting for Puppet Masters vs. Demonic Toys and Dr. Death to come out. That'll be the whole collection until more comes out, which they can't stop shitting us out. Baby Oopsie, really dug this, man. This is a really fucking fun film. I'm bad with names, I ain't got my glasses on, but the fucking main character. She fucking did a great job, and her best friend did a great job. I fucking love this film. Fun as fuck. Can't say so much good stuff about this, because this fucking rock. I dug it. Great stuff. Full Moon, you kicked it with this one. Hideous. Eh, it's like Puppet Masters, but with little demon toys or whatever. Still good. Shrunken heads. Don't remember too much about it. I've seen it before. I got it on DVD, so I had to pick it up on Blu-ray. Eh. Lurking Fear. Haven't seen this one yet. Been wanting to see this one for a while. Looks good. Had to pick it up. Castle Free. Dig the shit out of this one. I remember seeing this one when I was younger. Ugh, great film, but damn. The young days, man. A lot of nudity on this one, I remember. Taurus Trap. Love it. Great film. Really dig the shit out of this one. Probably picked up Evil Bong. Evil Bong 666. Evil Bong 777. Just gotta get to the last one. And Full Moon needs to finish releasing all these on Blu-ray. Because they're skipping 2, 3, and 4, I think. And 5 on Blu-ray. I think. I'm not really fucking sure. I just know whenever they do release them, I'm gonna pick them up. I dig the series. Yeah, they really go down the toilet after... Maybe the third one? Actually, 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 after the first one. But hey, these are fucking dumb as fuck shows. Still fun as fuck to watch. Weed G's. God damn, I can't speak very well. Ugh. This film was okay. Cool Duder was in it. A lot of famous YouTubers and other shit, I believe, was in it. But, eh, it's, it's not great, but it's not... It's not a fucking busted beer bottle up the ass or anything, but, eh, this looks like... Eh. And last for the Full Moon Blu-rays is Vampire Journals. Not the best in the subspecies series. It's definitely the weakest, but I had to pick it up. I like to complete the whole fucking series. They just don't have part four on Blu-ray. Get your head out of your ass, Full Moon. Come on, Charles Band, release these movies. People still collect this shit, so come on. But hey, great vampire movie. Just not the best in the fucking series. The Beast finally picked up Halloween Kills. Yeah, I fucking love this, man. I know a lot of you hated this. I don't know why. Yeah, the evil dies tonight shit got old. I love seeing a lot of the characters come back. And God, did he kill a lot of people in this one. And a lot of fucking brutal deaths. I fucking love this one. Halloween Kills, great shit. Scream 5. Really good film. Not the best. And I just seen the teaser trailer for the sixth one. Hey, it looks pretty good what I've seen so far. But yeah, this is a good film. Definitely recommend picking it up. And now, one of the Beast's favorite modern day slashers, Terrifier. God, this fucking film rules. Yeah, it's a little slow at times, but hey, this fucking rules, man. He's definitely one of the best slashers out there to date. He doesn't speak at all, but his fucking killing doesn't speak it. He's a fucking artist at killing. His name is Art? Damn, he's a fucking artist with death. Great fucking film. Some of the best death scenes. And some of the fucking grossest. But hey, that's the fucking shit I love. I don't need all the fucking nudity, man. I want the gore and shit. Even though there is nudity in this, but this fucking roll. This got one of my favorite death scenes of all time in it. Great fucking film. The second one's really good, too. I dig this some more. Leatherface. <sighs> this was a fucking stinker. This shows him where he's a fucking kid or something where he's a teenager and shit. I mean, parts of it was okay, but they try to twist you and make you think that the fat guy was Leatherface, but really is a fucking skinny little fuck. Doesn't fucking have Leatherface's body, does he? Well, this is better than the fucking Netflix one that came out recently, but still ain't saying much. That's like taking a punch to the dick. Candyman. Great fucking film. I dug this one. Not as good as part two to me. It ain't fire or nothing, but it's fucking good. It's worth watching. It's worth having in the collection. They did a really good job on it. Just not as good as part two to my ass. Candyman. Day of the Dead. I've seen this years ago. The new one was definitely better than this. This is the weakest in the series. Wrong turn. Didn't dig this one. They weren't even in break cannibals or anything. They were fucking just like people living off the fucking grid out in the fucking bumfuck Egypt shit, man. Didn't dig this one at all. Happy Time Murderers. <laughs> this is fucking good, man. I fucking dug this. And what's so bad is I fucking hate Melissa McCarthy. Can't stand her fucking stink ass. But I tolerated her in this because I fucking loved it. Muppets killing each other. Muppets just dying and having sex. And Muppets coming. They mostly come at night. Mostly. Yeah, that's the fucking good shit right here. Jeepers Creepers 4. Not as bad as part 3, but... Ugh, 
nothing to rave about, man. He gets his fucking ass kicked by a pregnant lady who got stabbed in the fucking stomach. And he penetrated that shit deep. How does she fucking be able to do that? A pregnant lady kicked his ass. Disappointing. And the creeper looks like shit because it's not the same guy. They barely even showed the fucking vehicle. Look right there. What do you see on the fucking cover? The fucking vehicle. It's only in it for like two minutes of even that. What the fuck? Misleading, man. Fucking misleading. X. Talk the shit out of this, man. If you like Texas Chainsaw Massacre and porn, you're gonna dig the shit out of this. This fucking ruled. It felt like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre film. It had a grittiness to it. It is fucking good, man. And one of the girls in it, she plays Wednesday in fucking the Wednesday series, which I want to check out, but dude, I dug this, man. The lady's a fucking nympho, and this fucking rules, man. Great fucking film. Pearl, which is part two to X, but it actually is a prequel. It's actually before it. Uh, there's going to be a third one coming out soon, but yeah, Pearl's pretty good, man. It's not as good as X, but it shows how that fucking lady became a nympho and how she how she fucks a scarecrow that has no dick, but she gets off on it. I don't know. I'm rambling. Whatever the fuck. This is a great fucking film. Not as good as X, but I still give it three cadavers out of five. Check it out, man. Fucking nympho fucking a fucking scarecrow. And last for the Blu-rays is Rob Zombie's The Monsters. It's not really a Rob Zombie film like I've heard people say it is, but it is damn good. If you grew up watching The Monsters and like The Monsters, you're gonna fucking dig this. But if you're looking for a Rob Zombie film with lots of fuck shits and nudity and shit like that, you're not gonna get that. You're gonna get a Rob Zombie cartoonish film right here. It's like watching a fucking Dario Gento Italian giallo film with lots of colors and shit. It's very beautiful to look at. It's not the greatest film. It's definitely not his best. But it's not as worse. But I did dig this. I'm a big fucking Monsters fan. Thank you, Rob Zombie. Man, I'm glad you fucking did this. I dig it. And now on to the DVDs. And these DVDs are all Christmas DVDs. So let's get going. All the creatures were stirring. It's an anthology type film, but not very well. It wasn't very good. I didn't dig it. Fuck it. Sleigh Bells. Great film. Lots of hot chicks. If you can see these girls on the back, I don't know if you can see that. Great film. I dug it. Hell, I'll probably watch it again here in a couple of days. Really good. I dug it. Sleigh Bells. Mother Krampus 2. Sleigh Ride. Mother Krampus. More like motherfucker. Nah. Sucked. Krampus 2, The Devil Returns. God, there's so many of these fucking Krampus films. It's hard to keep up with them. which one's what. There's all got, they all got different subtitles and all different twos and threes and up the ass shit. I don't know. Fuck it. Krampus Unleashed. Yeah, they unleashed the shit with this one. Krampus Origins. Man, this gave me a cramp just to say all this fucking Krampus shit. I haven't watched it yet, so I don't know. The Elf. Fell asleep. Don't know if it's any good. But hey, I got Elf. And no, it's not the fucking Will Ferrell film. Not by far. Elves. I'm pretty sure it's part two to that. I'm not for sure. I'm pretty sure it's probably fucking part two. That's what I need to fucking do is go take a part two after this shit. And last is Mrs. Claus. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. Need to check this one out. It's probably shit though, but hey, I'll probably check it out before Christmas. So, with all that said, Merry Christmas, you fucking filthy animals. And keep that shit whore. If you haven't subscribed to the beast, then please do so. And if you want to stay updated with this motherfucking stink ass, hit that motherfucking bell. <laughs> Ha ha ha